frogs are in crisis. All around the world, species are disappearing at an alarming rate. Both climate change and habitat loss are affecting rainforests throughout our planet. Frogs are often the first victims of this lethal combination. To witness this crisis firsthand, I traveled to Ecuador, a country about the size of Nevada and home to a whopping 8% of the world's amphibians. With me are doctors Luis Coloma and Santiago Ron. They've been working on the front lines of conservation for years. Now, the mission of, of both Luis and Santiago is to conduct an inventory, to take basically a census of the potential amphibian species that may live here. But more importantly, their goal is to find an incredibly rare species of amphibian. It's a frog that just may live in this river. It's also a frog that's dangerously close to extinction. We're looking for Adelopus spumarius, a harlequin frog that was once plentiful here, but is now threatened with extinction. We're heading to the last spot where it was recorded. And getting there is a bit treacherous. They're over here. Let's see what's up. Hey. Yes, we find them. The Atiropos that we were looking for. It's incredibly tiny. Oh, yeah. Don't let size fool you. It may only weigh about as much as a raisin, but its presence is immeasurable. Why is this frog so important? Because uh, this is, is one of the few populations of this, not only species, but genus, that still, still exists in the wild and have more than a handful of individuals left. How many of these are in captivity today? Uh, very few, very few individuals. And uh, right now, most of them are in the wild. But we are trying to protect the land and also uh, have some individuals in captivity so we can protect these species for the future. The clock is ticking. 